What's up y'all? Coming at you with the unboxing and uh, range day for this little Mossberg here I picked up yesterday that y'all saw on my ammo hunting video. Uh, a lot of y'all already guessed what it is. It ain't nothing fancy this time. I got I got plenty of fancy shotguns so I just wanted to pick something up that was uh, pretty simple. I could grab if I needed to get busy with it and uh, don't have to worry about any kind of certain manual of arms. Anybody who needed to grab it can just grab it up and get it. So today we have the Maverick 88. So comes in the box, of course. Comes in with all your rigmarole. I'll get this stuff out and then I'll get the box out of the way and I'll show y'all what we got. Alright, just the standard good goodies that come with any gun. You got the you got your boomstick hanging target here. Uh you got your NRA propaganda, your safety stuff, and your owner's manual here. So that's the paperwork and stuff you get with it. Of course, you get the gun and you get the barrel that's separated so they can pack it up easier. So I'm going to put a towel down because this thing's an old, greasy, oily, nasty. We're going to break it down real quick and, and clean it up and just show you all what's going on with it. All right, we should be able to run through this quick enough to, to roll this and the range footage in all in one video, so I ain't gonna dilly-dally too much. Just wanna go over some of the quick, if y'all familiar with this, it's basically the same thing. Uh, Maverick 88, uh, 500, 590, they all very similar guns with just a few little differences in them. Uh, some of the main differences between this and the uh, actual 500, Mossberg 500, um, your safety, your fire control group's a little bit different because you got a cross bolt safety on this where your 500's got a tang safety. Your four end here, there is no action tube on your slide, so it's just the four ends riding on your magazine tube there. There's no, no separate action tube, so that makes it a little bit more involved. If you want to put a different four end, you actually have to get a whole uh, action slide assembly and all before you can change the four end. Um, same barrels, they're both made in the U.S., uh, same barrels, same internals as far as the bolts and all that good jazz. Um, there may be a couple of other little differences, but for the most part, that's the differences. The fire control group with the position of the safety and this uh, action slide assembly not having an actual tube in it. That's the main differences. Uh, I have heard that uh, the stocks are a little bit different where this one's a hollow stock. The 500, I believe, are a solid stock, even the polymer ones. Uh, but other than that, like I say, basically the same gun. Same, same barrel, same internals and all. So I'll show you how to break this thing down right quick. Pretty simple affair here. You want to take your fire control group out first. Just push the little fire the pin out. Pull that out. You're going to rotate it up from the back like that and boom, fire control groups out. Uh, a couple of little parts inside there. Let me get this junk out of the way. Uh, you got a cartridge interrupter here on the ejection side. Pull that out and then you got a cartridge stop on the other side. You pop that out. They can't hardly go in but one way. You got your little slots and everything there. So pretty, pretty simple deal. At that point, you want to move your action back, pull out your bolt slide. It goes, there's some slots in the top there, you'll see. So you can't, you can't really get it out but one way. Pull it back, pull it out that where it's cut out right here for it. Then you're going to take your bolt carrier and all, roll it right out the front, or slide it right out the front, I should say. And you're going to take your elevator, lift it up right here. This right here are the nubs that's coming down from the back of the legs of the elevator. Just squeeze it inward a little bit like that and then pull it right out. Got your elevator out. After that, take your action slide, slide it right off, and there you go. You're done breaking this thing down. That, that's literally all it is to it. You see your parts you got there, simple as can be. So I'm going to wipe this thing down right quick off the camera. It's oily as anything. We're going to wipe it down, get it cleaned up some, and we'll slap it back together. Ain't a whole lot to say about this gun. I'm, I'm sure most people have seen it to uh, put your barrel on. Racket that back forward there. Take your, your barrel nut. Make sure your barrel's seated all the way. And you'll know if it's not. And just tighten her on down. And this, like I say, this is the Maverick 88. This is the 18 and a half inch version. I don't even know if I told you the basics, but 18 and a half inch, I believe they call this the security model. Uh, got your standard front brass bead sight. Uh, it is a five in the chamber plus one, so six round capacity on it. So uh, again, this is uh, very similar to the Mossberg 500. Very little differences other than what I pointed out earlier with the safety position when the fire control group and that front uh, that front slide action tube, not not actually even having a front slide action tube, but other than that, they're they're nearly identical guns. So, so again, it holds five regular shells. Now, uh, y'all did see, I'm sure if y'all watched my ammo video yesterday, we picked up some of these little stubbies, and we also picked up this Opsol mini clip piece for it that, that uh, works for it here. So, show you how this thing does here. 
So what that is, it's just basically just a little piece of rubber there that you put in back here like that. Squeeze it, squeeze it a little bit, put put in back here, and it, it basically keeps these mini shells from wanting to flip around and get all cocksided on you when you're loading them up. I'll be honest, I'm gonna try it without that first, uh, but you can see it, it action does the same way. If you wanna take it out, reach in from your ejection port, just push it out the bottom. It's just a big hunk of rubber, basically. But uh, I'm gonna actually try this thing without using it and we're gonna see what it does here for us. So let's drop one down on the elevator. That racked in just fine. So it holds one in the chamber for these and then you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight so it holds eight so on these minis it holds eight in the ch in the uh magazine and one in the chamber so you got a capacity of nine here so supposedly you need this for these things to uh to cycle correctly but let's just see what we get here fed it fine So as y'all can see, it fed every one of them without even using this. So I don't even know that we'll even need this thing, to be honest with you. I made a, this was only 17 bucks, but it may have been 17 bucks I didn't need to spend. But we'll find out as soon as we get a hair out on the range. I'm going to try running them without it for sure and uh, see how she functions. And if we need to stick it in, we'll stick it in. But $219 is what I paid for it if I didn't mention that before. But yeah, there it is, the Maverick 88. So let's get this bad boy out on the range and see if we can put it to work. All right, y'all, here we go. Out here with the old Mossberg Maverick 88, 18 and a half inch. I believe they call this the security model. So we're going to get her loaded up and we're going to get at it. Y'all know where we're at, man, out here on my range. Hey, y'all seen this plenty of times, I know. Uh, if y'all ain't familiar, these close targets up here range from 10 to 12 yards. The little rounds are about 25 yards. The yellow rounds on the right are about 57, 58 yards. The green silhouette, 75 yards, and then them right, they got some round ones way back in the back at 100 yards. We ain't fooling with them today, but just, just for reference. Uh, but anyway, Maverick 88, here we go. I'm um, working with these 1325 Velocity Double Alt Bucks. These are state brand Double Alt Bucks right now, so we're going to go ahead and go for the gusto straight out the box, man. We're going to probably, I'm going to probably hit on these first uh, few little close-up targets, maybe hit them 25 just to test it out, make sure it's functioning good to go. We ain't going to get too crazy today with patterns and spray and all that uh, this is a fixed choke uh, cylinder bore so ain't no removable chokes or nothing so ain't no much of testing going on as far as that goes but enough chit chat let's get to it I just want to make sure it's patterned halfway decent I knew all of them every one of them bottles gonna fall off so that's three shots shooting a little high but that's probably where I'm aiming uh, let's go out there how we see that was three let's see if we can hit them 25 yarders Yeah, we got a couple pellets on it. Go down here. I can reach that other one. It's a little tight. Got to, got to get it. Got to get a little broke in a little bit. But it's shooting pretty good. All right, shot that hole too full, which I didn't. It wasn't no doubt it was. I mean, pump. You can't mess up too bad on that. So let's load us another tube up. All right, I got a six more rounds in here. Since them bottles want to be stubborn, let's go on and take them on out, man. Uh, this thing is a little stiff right now, but I'm sure it'll get broke in. I about forgot to, to uh, pump the thing, man, in the chamber another round. I'm so, And I got some sport with them semi-automatic shotguns. I about forget what I'm doing here, man. So let's get at it. Let's get these bottles out of here. There we go. There we go. All right, so far so good. Let's give these little minis a try. I got six of these little Aguila mini shells uh, by 11 pellets. It's a mix of number four and number one buck. So let's give these a try. I got six of them. This thing actually holds eight, but all I need is six. I'm just going to test it out. I'm going to test it without that adapter in it and uh, see how they load. Uh, they cycled fine at home last night, so we'll see what they do. Put I'll put six of them in there. See, uh... It'd be nice if they cycle without that adapter, but we'll see. I've got it with me. If I have to put it in, it ain't no big deal. 
All right, here we go. Six mini shells. I've got these three front targets with some explosive on it. I know y'all like them exploding targets. I like them too, man. They fun. So I got three exploding targets. I got exploding target on that right pile of uh, cinder block, and I got one on that bottle over here on the left. So let's get at it, man. Let's see what we got here with the minis. Missed that. Now I'm shooting high again. Uh-oh, see that one flipped around on me. It was loading fine until then. There we go, there we go. It wasn't bad, but yeah, you. I would say you definitely need, you want that adapter. Y'all see it, but it loaded fine until that last one, and then it wanted to flip around on me. So I would say it's best to use that adapter for sure. All right, I got two more shells loaded up. I ain't planning on missing this time. I'm definitely, I'm wanting to shoot a little high. I got to get used to that bead sight again. I ain't shot no shotgun with a bead sight in so long. I done forgot how to use the things. Uh, I got two more. This time I got the, I do have the little mini clip in. As you can see, you just stick it in the bottom. It ain't nothing but a little rubber plug. So uh, it shot, it stopped with cycling good until the end there. But if you, I noticed if you probably get a, get a little out of shape there, you'd want that mini plug in there just to be reliable for sure. So, all right, let's see. Let's get these blocks done down here. Let's get this bottle. Uh-oh. That one didn't explode, but we took the bottle out anyhow. All right, it didn't bust up our explosive there. I must have just missed and hit the bottle, but I, I moved the explosives up there to that target. We're going to use one last mini shell. I'm just going to drop it in, make sure it'll feed. See, that's a little, that's a little awkward there. A little bit awkward for sure on the mini shell. So, all right, here we go. Let's get this explosive out of the way. There we go, good stuff. All right, I put us five more of them little mini shells in there. Be honest with you, I don't know about these things, man. That plug, uh, I guess that plug does its job, but y'all saw when I just dropped it in there in the elevator, if you don't drop it in there straight, man, it can still get a little wonky if you don't put it on in the chamber. But uh, I got five more of them in here. I'm gonna shoot them kind of as, as kind of fast paced and uh, see what kind of reliability I get out of loading with them. So, I mean, I don't know that I'd recommend these things for life or death situation right now. I mean, but I, I you know, who knows? They may be a little more reliable than what I'm seeing. So let's get rid of these five right here right quick. All right, I mean, those loaded up fine, so and put them all on target. I mean, that, that would that would have got the job done for sure, but I'd have to play with these a lot more to see just how reliable. Oh, I mean, I guess that was reliable there, but y'all know what I'm saying. All right, y'all, we're going to call it right there on the old Maverick 88, man. I think that was a good enough shakedown for the first time out. As y'all saw, it run flawless, man. I didn't expect no different, to be honest. I mean, ain't a whole lot can go wrong with a pump, especially old Mossberg. It's hard to make them not run, but run everything we gave to it. Uh, y'all saw the mini shell thing without the uh, without the adapter. Eh, sketchy. I wouldn't rely on that. With the adapter, it seemed to run fine. You still just got to kind of be careful what you're doing with it. So the verdict for me on them mini shells is out. Uh, personally, I probably wouldn't stake my life on it as a defense type of thing now. Uh, if I had them all loaded up and, and knew I wasn't going to have to reload, that'd be different. But even if you had to reload, you, you're talking about having that plug in there. If you had full-size shells, you got to worry with that. So I don't know. I think my, that's that's... 
they, they seem like more of a novelty to me right now, but some of y'all might have better luck. Let me know down in the comments if y'all use them things, what kind of luck would y'all have of them. But there, there you go, the Maverick 88. Um, we're going to call it for today on that one. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. I got a lot more shooting coming up this coming weekend. I'm going to have some family up. We're going to really get crazy with some shotguns. We're going to probably do some skeet shooting. I know a lot of y'all have been asking for that, so I'm going to try to get some of that recorded for you. We're going to have a lot of doggone shooting, buddy, this coming weekend. So uh, if y'all enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up, man. Man, make sure you subscribe as always leave me a comment down below let me know what you think about the gun let the shells what happened today and uh just let me know what's on your mind uh also i got a i'm gonna say it again the amazon affiliate links down in the comment i got a few things that i use that i'd recommend to anybody if i if i put it in the links i've used it or i would recommend it for sure so y'all check them out even if you don't see something you like if you do your amazon shopping through them links i'll get credit for that too so maybe it, it'll it'll make a little bit of something and then we can do some giveaways something like that you know but anyway again i hope y'all enjoyed the video uh stay safe stay prepared and we'll see y'all next time